Hello, true duelists. My name's Craig Fee, and welcome to the New Card Report. Thanks to content creators, we now know the full set list for Duelist Nexus. And while everyone wants to know why it is Dark Corridor got the secret rare slot that it has, I'm instead here to tell you about the grab bag of one ofs that will serve as pack filler. And also one of the best cards, if not the best cards, to be coming out of Age of Overlord. Mostly so I can clickbait this video, because otherwise there's... <laughs> it's nothing special, so let's get to it. These cards suck. Getting the filler out of the way from Duelist Nexus, we start with, Z oh boy, Zotomosasaurus, I think is how that's read, and I don't care to fix it. A level two earth dinosaur with 500 attack and 400 defense. While it's on your field and you have another dinosaur monster, it can't be targeted for attacks, which is an effect it needs because it's weak and bad. The other effect can target and pop one other card you control, and has a hard once per turn. We know why it is it has this effect, because Konami hates baby dinosaurs and wants them all dead. That's not my opinion, that's just looking at the card design. Unfortunately for these two dinosaurs in an only mostly suggestive position, this role is already filled completely and entirely better by Overraptor, a dinosaur card that's actually worth playing. But this being bad dinosaur support does in fact tie in beautifully with the other terrible dinosaur cards coming out in Duelist Nexus. So full props to the team at Konami for, for keeping the design department in check and, and consistent with the other cards in the set. That's what we like to see. I'm sorry, did I say that's what we like to see? I mean, these things fucking suck and I hate it. Next card. Did I even write that name right? Finis Tare, the Tower of the Necro World, is a level 10 water zombie with 1,000 attack and 2,800 defense. That once per turn can be special summoned from your hand if you control a level 10 monster. And if it's sent to the grave, it can target a face-up card on the field to make it indestructible by battle or card effects for the turn. Well, there you have it, folks. Level 10 support. Train decks on the $3 budget range, and Eldlich fans who care more for comedy than they do winning are very excited to play this. And it only exists, I'm sure, so that Konami can slightly more justify the fact that that level 10 trade-in card whose name I cannot pronounce is in this set as well. And it's also a secret rare. Why not? And before you comment, yes, I have forgotten about literally every other card in the set Duelist Nexus, so if you're going to tell me about some level 10 that's in the set that otherwise synergizes with the level 10 trade-in, I don't know, nor do I care, because it doesn't change the fact that shitty zombie tower is shit. Moving to the extra deck monsters, Kui Belt, the Blade Dragon, is a level 7 Dark Dragon Synchro with 2500 attack and 1700 defense, needing any one tuner and one or more non-tuners to summon. And even though I love the art for this card, the fact that its effect is simply on Synchro Summon to target a card on the field and destroy it, and its only other effect activates if it's destroyed, to target a monster on the field and make it unable to attack until the end of the opponent's turn, means that it's not good at all. If anything, this was a desperate slot in a Red Dragon Archfiend deck that you somehow found yourself needing a level 7 to ladder climb into the actual good cards of the deck because somehow you're already under that dark synchro lock and you're like, shit, I need a 7. Maybe there's room for it in that exact specific scenario by virtue of being a dark level 7 dragon synchro. But that's kind of solved already by the newest support that you're not going to be in that situation anymore, or at least not nearly as often, and even before it wasn't that often. The pop on summon is cute, but we already have a level 7 dragon to clear boards and it does a lot more than pop one card. So, sorry Leather Belt or whatever the fuck this card's name is, you're not that guy, pal. But maybe Storage Pot is that guy! The name might suggest so. A level 6 Dark Machine Fusion with 2500 attack and defense, it needs either Triforsara Hamba... Triforosops... Is that really how that name is said? It needs fucking the level seven or Stego Cyber as fusion material, along with one other machine or dinosaur type monster. Talk about out of left feet. Why are those two? Anyways, it cannot be destroyed by battle while a monster summoned from the graveyard is on the field, making it truly insane in exactly the Ogda Wagda matchup, maybe. And if, uh, if a monster is special summoned from the hand while this is on your field, you can target one card on each player's field and destroy them both. How often is summoning from the hand happening 
in a duel. Don't get me wrong, it's not unheard of or uncommon. Special summons from the hand is like all of Kashtira. I know, I'm not saying it's rare, I'm just saying there's a lot more instances that I can think of that involve summoning from the deck, or the graveyard, or extra deck. And that's even addressing the fact that you'd be activating this effect, because I don't think you're even summoning this fucking card. Nobody is playing Trifortes Rahabadu, I'm not saying that card's name, or Stego Cyber anyway, because they're, they're bad, and so was this. Had this come out in like 2013, when Pojo Threads kept recommending Triforstrubelub as a side deck card for no real reason beyond stalling, but still it showed up as like, hey, you could side this against Fire Fist, and it's like, I guess I could, but other than that, no one's playing either of those dinosaurs, and it, it, uh, it just, this thing's bad. It's a great name, it's a bad card. Moving on. And the last card from Duelist Nexus today, Synchro Force Back. A normal trap card that targets cards on the field up to the number of Synchro Monsters you control with different names and returns them to the hand. Is that Jet Warrior on the art of that card? Neat. This one actually isn't terrible, if only because Duelist Genesis is a card we are also getting in Duelist Nexus, so it is playable as a one of to search it since it's a spell or trap with Synchro in its name. There's now the Duelist Genesis, so like, you, you could. You can include this as a one-of and play a synchro spammy deck with no real function or purpose that just summons out a bunch of synchros and you got a bunch of compulses in one card, so to say. It's not great, it's not terrible, but it's it's the best card of the last of Duelist Nexus, so it, it's good in that regard, and, and that's about it. And so, moving on to Age of Overlord, we look at what might be one of the best cards of 2023. Granted, I'm a Yu-Gi-Tuber. I overhype shit, we yell, we're loud, we're stupid, we're obnoxious, and more importantly than any of that, we're fucking dumb. I can tell you from first-hand experience, because I make videos and I'm fucking dumb. But, with that being said, allow me to explain because this is a Link 2 Dark Warrior with arrows pointing left and right and 1600 attack, and more importantly than any of that, the stupidest name in a while of SP Little Knight. Sure. Its materials to summon are any two effect monsters, and it has two effects. If it's summoned using a Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, and or Link monster as material, it will let you target a card on the field or in either grave and banish it, but doing so will mean you can't attack directly for the turn. And it also has the quick effect to target two monsters, one on each side of the field, and banish them until the end phase. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the definitive replacement for Nightmare Unicorn. Using IP Mask Arena to link into this will allow you to banish one target on summon, and then you can save its second effect for later to effectively get two pieces of removal from one card, instead of the single card that Unicorn offers. Now, to be clear, this does not fully replace Unicorn, because each card now has a utility and a function that you can debate when building your decks. Unicorn being a Link 3 means it has value as a means to Link Climb into Access Code Talker, and its spin into the deck is a much more effective way to get rid of a card, broadly speaking, than simply banishing it. And I'm dumb, as mentioned, so I'm not going to pretend that there haven't been duels where I've whittled myself down to Unicorn Beats for the <laughs> winning strategy, and it's only been like two or three times, but there's been times where Unicorn's 2200 attack has saved me, as crazy as that is to say. You'd be amazed how poorly you can play when both of you are learning a deck. Still, this is a very, very good card. It's very low level of investment for what is effectively a once per turn banishing Scrap Dragon. More of a farfa, I know, they get their card back, but so do you. Meaning you can move it to get its link arrows in a more desirable place, and again, every single turn, you're getting a banish of one of the opponent's monsters. It's being compared to DPE by some, and while I don't think it's quite that good, because DPE also had the attack buff and, you know, nerf more accurately, and also destroyed the cards. There's merits to both. Either way, this is a very, very good card, and it's probably going to be like 80 to to $100 in a secret rare, because that's, that's just the kind of card it is, isn't it? Oh, and it's also a woman, which means some people just absolutely adore it for that reason, no judgment. It's just the Yu-Gi-Oh! community and women. Yikes.
And so with that, we move on to shout out today's sponsor, the LIFD Magnetic Display. The best way to support my channel currently and the true Duelist approved way to show off all of your favorite cards. Maybe you also have some copies of IP Masquerina you haven't bothered to put into a deck yet and nothing else relates to this video in any way and I'm not pulling out Tricera card. So you just got that, is that, is that more of an ish me? Not, not really an issue? I don't know, it's there and they look great. And if you want your cards to look great too, you can save yourself 15% by using my promo code YJOSTRATS15, or you can have it apply automatically by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thank you to LIFD for the support as always, and thank you for watching. And so that wraps it up for this new card report. The regular update will be out on Friday as usual. And until then, I've been your host, Craig Fee. Make sure you subscribe to YGOSTRATS to impress your smoking Italian wife so you can become a true duelist. It's, in, it's impressive how many times I've said the outro, but still mess, it genuinely astonishes me. So to make up for it, uh, have, remember this bad boy? Yeah, I keep, I keep, I'm, he's ready at all times. I mean, here for all your dimes and that stuff. Uh, fuck this video, see you next time. <laughs>